Alright, uh, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to some more Skyrim here with the Vin Maker. You know what? I have finally simply removed the Mask of Clavka's Vial. I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore. No, no, I still have it with me. I may still toss it on in town, but I do have my, my necklace of Minor Hagley and I've got some potions. It's not a, well, it's not a huge deal. Um, I, well, actually, it kind of is. I, I'm sure that the buff certainly has been uh, responsible for my wheeling deal in prices lately, yes. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I just got a little sick of it. I think this is his more, a more natural look for him. And in fact, I don't even know if I'm going to go to the, uh, uh, to, I had kind of had plans. I wanted to try and uh, don uh, some of that orcish armor at some point, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I tried it on between episodes and I really didn't like the look of it all of a sudden. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's the, uh, the, what is it, the Vagabond armor for the time being. We've got the, uh, the leather boots of Dwindling Flames, the uh, leather bracers of, I think, increased armor, something like that. And it's nice, I got all my buffs back from my light armor gear, uh, faster regeneration, I think an overall armor boost. There was something else in there as well, there was, I think there was a trio of things being affected. But anyway, that's been settled, I've got my, you know, I got my, uh, my circlet of, uh, archery on on them as well so there's lots of buffs that have come in all of a sudden uh and hopefully it makes a difference out there you can see on his hip well it has changed if you look down at the bottom of the stairs there's the asuma trench knife uh, tucked away in my in one of my display cases and uh, i decided i'd take the daedric tonto out uh as far as uh oh really wasting <laughs> wasting my, my health potions right out of the gate and i don't have that many to spare in fact i was on a bit of a I went on a bit of a stroll around <laughs> around Valkyrie, hunting down uh, ingredients just so I could craft up a few a few uh, health potions. That was the intention. You can see, I mean, a few, I've done a, a few things, nothing major though. I did have that. Uh, I did retrieve that quicksilver ore not long ago. I, I used the smelter outside. I think that's the first use I've gotten out of the smelter. So I used it and uh, crafted uh, an ingot out of it and had enough to, to construct the alchemy lab. I had to do some crafting. As I said, I had to put on a, get my brew going and uh, I needed health potions. So anyway, the Daedric Tonto is on my hip. Uh, that has replaced the Asuma Trench trench Knife, and I think it's uh, definitely a, a bit of an upgrade. Uh, it, how, what else has changed? Nothing really has changed. Still the Nordic Axe there. Uh, the other thing that did change was my Longbow. It, rather than the, uh, the the simple Glass Longbow, it's now the Longbow. The Glass Longbow of Lethargy. I love the fact that it glows green. You know, it just seems to suit that bow really nicely. So, finally going to be able to get uh, some use out of these um, these soul gems that I've been uh, I've been collecting. So, I've got a few uh, is it on Rorgard currently? I I may have them stacked away on the horse. I'm not really sure. No, I've got them with me and that's good because I don't think I'm actually going to take the horse when I finally do set off. Uh, but we'll get into that here soon enough. As far as the rest of the gear goes, nothing else has uh, really changed. You know, it's still Dawnbreaker. It's still the the uh, Nordic Shortbow and uh, my dual wield slot with the Ebony War Axe and the Nordic War Axe. Uh, my, my Lantern Oil, I know it's nearly depleted, which is why I have the torch here right now. <laughs> I even tossed the torch in here just for a little extra light in the room, you know, because it, it was pretty dark before I put that sucker there. And, uh, well, I put it in the, the cast iron pot, clearly, because I didn't want to burn the house down. Yes. Um, so what are we going to do? I think what I'm going to do this episode, for for starters, is uh, hit up the workbench in that back room and get a few more furnishings down. But I have a feeling we will be setting off before the very before the, the episode wraps and going out uh, doing some traveling across the countryside. I've got my sights set on the reach, I think, at this point. Anyway, I'm using this chest to kind of stockpile some potions, some excess stuff there. This here is, uh, you know, drink... And, uh, I had my ingredients around here somewhere. I think I put them all in the sack. Hopefully they don't vanish at the end of the month. Uh, I'm pretty sure Serana is back at Fort Dawnguard. I think there was something, I think that had something to do with the fact that the month did change. Maybe it was simply because she was away from my side for so long. She had just eventually returned, but I think maybe, I think more likely it was that the month had changed. Because it happened just as we were leaving Frostfall and entering... Well, whatever come, whatever came next. What is it? Uh, sun's dusk. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get some furnishings down in this back room here. Actually, you know what? I don't have any of my uh, my my items with me, so we'll go and grab them. And goddamn it, I accidentally picked this broom up, and now 
the stupid thing won't go back to its place. Go. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that uh, you can't just kind of leave stuff out in the open. No. So now the broom, it has to go be tucked away. Otherwise, it will always be knocked over forevermore, at least until the end of the month when everything resets. I think that's how it works. Anyway, let's stuff it in there. God damn it. All right. Put that stuff away. What am I? What am I looking for right now? I think we may have a problem in the basement. Really? Been hearing a lot of scurrying down there lately. Well, you're the steward. Why don't you deal with it, War Profiteer Raya? God damn it! <laughs> Look at her. She's all fidgety. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know how to whether to, to, to believe me, comical, <laughs> you know, or uh, or serious at this point. Whether to take my temper seriously. All right. Anyway, uh, what do we need? I guess I'll grab some straw. I don't think I'm going to need much straw, but I'll grab some. I will grab the uh, locks and all the nails I have, although I don't have many, do I? That's okay, I'll be able to get... Uh... Yeah, we'll grab all the gold horns. I'll grab the glass, all of it. I'll grab the hinge, the iron fitting. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can drop. We'll grab some leather strips as well. Honor to you, my fame. Ease up there, Raya. Please, a little space, my dear. Did you grab my ass? I, th I think she did. I think she did. All right, anyway. Um, craft an anvil here for starters. I know I saw one around here somewhere. Got the weapon plaque. There it is. There's the blacksmith anvil. Let's put this sucker down. What's this cost me? Four ingot. And, uh, and one... One saw and log, alright. That can go down for starters. Just in case I need to craft myself some nails. Which I imagine I will have to. Let's start with some shelving. We'll get the, them up. And uh, the tall shelf to boot. This cost me two saw and logs, really? And four nails, in fact. Oh my god. Alright, now where's the anvil and everything? Okay, right there. Alright, you can see now. Can I activate these shelves? No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if I can actually place stuff in there and have it stay there. I guess that's the, uh... That's what I really want, you know? Anyway. This this should come pretty quickly. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I've kind of got the gist of this at this point. This is costing me all my nails, so I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to craft a few more here. There we go. Table and chairs is down. What is this now? Oh, really? You know what? And I recently got my... My, uh, my newest, uh, perk in steel. And you can see the after slash. That seems unique. You know? The poke blade. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> the poke blade. Who named that goddamn thing? Who designed that thing? Sadistic. How, how would you even wield that? You know? <laughs> it just seems odd. It's kind of cool, though, you know? The more... the I don't care how goofy or odd something may look. The more, uh, you know, the more the more weapons that we have at our disposal in the game, well, the better, you know. That may not be my cup of tea, but somebody may just love seeing that thing. What else do we have? Anything really unique? I'm not, I mean, I'm not seeing much. You can see all the weapons really listed out here, though. From Spike Clubs to the, that Nadachi, the Wakazashi, the Thresher Mole. bone mold all right anyway i came in here for nails look at me sidetrack so easily people so easily all right some nordic can i craft this stuff now the nordic war pick oh look at that thing that's spectacular oh my god the short spear it looks like a dagger of some kind you know like a long dagger like a letter opener almost i don't know We'll have to see how long it would actually look in his hand. And the Viking double axe, that's kind of cool too. Nice. I wonder if that came in with a DLC. I don't remember any of the those items uh, being in vanilla Skyrim. It may have come in with one of the DLC packs. Then again, it could have been could have been some sort of mod or addition that came in with a mod. All right, back to uh, I guess uh, the square table of chairs. Now, hold on a second. Is this going to replace the other set? And we'll even do the wall the wall plaque. Get it up. Let's have a look around here. No? Okay. That's good. Got some tools in over here. 
We really need a little lighting over on this side of the room, if you're asking me. And uh, there's, of course, my weapon plaque. Do I have anything that may may suit that? I'm, th I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What do I have stashed around? I could grab the Wab of Jackhammer and put that up there. I think I'll just leave it empty for the time being. I'll, I'll, I'll find something to put there in time. I've no doubt. All right, what else? Barrels? Yes, that can go. Oh, what am I looking for here? Iron fittings. Is it iron fittings down the line? Oh, I need three steel ingot for- Oh, we've got a safe here. Oh, ho, I could stash my uh, my riches away. Yes. All right, so one iron fitting, two, a three, and a four, and three steel ingots. Very well. I think I've got some steel. I, I may not actually be able to craft that uh, that safe, though. We'll see. Well, see, at the very least, I should be able to craft some steel ingots. I mean, I've got I've got plenty of iron and corundum ore currently. And I'm pretty sure that's how you make steel. Although it's been a while. It really has. Alright, what am I looking for? Iron fittings. One, two, three, four. You know what I'll do? Oh, hell. Let's do... I don't know. I've lost count. Uh, well, I, I haven't lost count because I never started counting after four. I'm shooting for a good ten, though. There we go. And no more. Yes. And no more. I'm out of iron ingots to boot, so... Oh, look at this. That's uh, a real cluttered mess there, Vin Maker. What were you thinking with that? You in a rush, sir? I don't know. And uh, I'm gonna have to check the basement, clearly. Oh, uh, we've probably got uh, some sort of skeever, shitwater skeever infestation down there. By Talos. Anyway, let's see here. <laughs> the cupboard. The desk. The display case. The small wardrobe. And we've got uh, possible... We, well, I need some large antlers. I could go out hunting. Now, I have gotten... I, and this is coming from a few people. Uh, people, A few of you out there that have... Whether you're still watching or not. Um, I got a, yet another recommendation for the uh, the Hunterborn mod. You know, I would be... Uh, I, 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 there are mods I would like to, to bring in, you know. Something to do with better companions or, you know, just to kind of overhaul that. Uh, there's other kind of little minor things. Then there's the Hunter mo the Hunterborn mod. I would like to add these things. I really just don't want to risk completely messing up my game at this point. I've got a lot of uh, time invested into this playthrough. So that's a big concern that kind of weighs on me in the back of my mind. But uh, I certainly do appreciate the recommendations. You may see me add a couple of things in if, I, if I'm feeling lucky or <laughs> confident. Maybe I'll just simply back up my files entirely once I can free up a little space on uh, one of the hard drives, you know. But yeah, I definitely read the recommendations all. Just because I don't bring a mod in doesn't mean that I don't agree with you that it would, would help the game, you know. So, don't feel offended if it doesn't get added in here. Uh, but uh, I, I may I may look into bringing in a few more, just a few more things, and Hunterborn would be on that list if I do. Anyway, let's uh, have a good look around. Now, what am I trying to do? I need uh, some... I guess I would have to... Well, what would I have to do? How would I make my, my ingot? I guess I would do it at the smelter, wouldn't I? Yes, I would. Let me make sure I don't have the steel first. I remember buying some steel, but I don't know if I've gone through it all. Alright, well, let's grab... I don't know how many I, I would need here. I'd better grab 12 just to be, sh be sure. It's probably just one corundum, but we'll see. I think it's probably a 2 to 1. 2 iron to 1 corundum ore. I'm not sure, though. We'll grab a little bit of each. We'll head out here, and uh, I will get myself some steel ingots. What am I looking for? Four. Build the safe, and I will stuff some cash away. And, and Well, I don't have any jewels. That's one other thing that I did do between episodes. I did a little... I headed into town, because I did make a run around Falkreath on foot, looking for supplies, or looking for ingredients. And I stopped in town, and, well, you didn't see it, but I did do a little business with Soloff, yes. The foul man took another look for Serana, and this is really starting to bother me. I'll be quite pleased when this thing bloody well vanishes from this from this cell. Because uh, it was it even caused me problems. I uh, exited the door uh, on one attempt between episodes, and or I exited the house, and uh, that was it. Like, a, not quite a game crash, but a black screen. As though I had walked right into the the very soul of the creature, yes. I hadn't devoured it. It had devoured me. Anyway, what am I looking to do here? I guess I want uh, some steel. But what do I need here? Charcoal? I thought it was corundum and, uh, and iron. 
I guess not. Well, how the hell do I get charcoal? Let's see here. I guess... Hmm. I, I would clearly need some sort of wood. No, no. What would I? What would I need for charcoal here? Let me see here. Let's go over to the anvil. Let's go down to miscellaneous. You know what? I don't know. It, could it? Could it be something? <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I can't build the safe yet. Until I figure out how to get my hands on some charcoal. Unless it's clearly... Unless it's just some sort of byproduct. From using the smelter. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Where would I get the, uh, the charcoal from? Could it be something that I have to... No, that wouldn't make sense. Going to the cooking pot. That's what I was thinking to myself. That's clearly not going to be it. Maybe it's something that I, I simply have to buy. Here's an idea. Let me try making a few ingots here. And see if... Uh, this, okay, so I've, I've got a little iron. Iron added. No, that's not doing anything for me. A little corundum. Doing dick all. Look at this. I can I can turn my sheets of glass here, my blowing glass into, well, into blowing bottles. Yes, of, of glass. Yes. Um. Am I am I brain farting this? I think I think perhaps I am. <laughs> you know. Where the hell do I get the uh, the charcoal from? All right, no, it's not going to be in leather. <laughs> it's not going to be in auxiliary armors. Maybe. You know what? Screw it. I'm going into the cooking pot and checking that. Because if I can save myself a trip into town, I'll be quite pleased. You know. Charcoal. Give me a break. Let's see here. Miscellaneous. You know, and it's, it's, it, it, it seems familiar to me. Like, I, I should be able to... Let's see here. Like, I should know. You know, like I've seen it in, in a list somewhere. No, you know what? I don't know. I knew, I knew that wasn't going to solve my problems, though. All right, well. <laughs> That's it. I don't know. I just... I'm disappointed. Let's see here. Did I collect any charcoal from anything? Well, I guess uh, that's not going to fly out. Now, I did have one more piece I needed to build up here. I think there's a matching wardrobe that has to fit in that corner. I might as well get it done just to do it. There are also some heads. I mean, that's what it really what I'm down to at this point. Some, uh... Oh, look at this. I don't have the nails, nor do I have the hinge at this point. Don't be sleeping there for too long, Raya. We've got things to do, my dear. Yes. Well, kind of disappointed. You know, as soon as I saw the safe, I knew it was something I was going to want. Um... No. No, no. Where's my anvil? I wonder, do I need an actual, a full forge to actually uh, craft or create some sort of charcoal? You know what, I don't know. I, I gotta do one more kind of thorough search through through these these lists. Just, well, relatively quick, but... I just want to be sure that I haven't passed it by. Alright, where are we? Imperial. The Steel. Steel. 
If only I had listened to Yoland Greymane that one that one rainy day. Yes, by Talos. <laughs> I know these things. Um, what are we, what am I on? Steel. All right. No, there's nothing there. All right. Now, what did I need? I needed a hinge. Oh, I'm and I'm out of ingots again. Oh, I can craft Viking stuff now. White armored fur hood. Okay, well, I knew that. No, no, no. This is different. White armored fur hood is, uh... That's an upgrade. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, no wonder. It's my padded fur hood. My padded fur hood is light. Okay. Alright. So, oh, look at that. The Viking heavy coif. The, <laughs> the Viking heavy, heavy queef. Yes, the heavy Viking queef. Good lord. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it all. All right, suggestions. Feel free. By the time I'll tell you though, the, the suggestions may come in, but I have a feeling by the time I I receive them in this video airs and I receive them, I'll have figured it out in some way, you know. But uh, I certainly do welcome it. I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is here with this bloody charcoal. Fine. Damn you, Yorland Greymane, yes. Damn you. You've bested me yet again, and you did—you weren't even trying. Anyway, well, what do I have left to do here? Oh, I wanted to do... I've got iron ingots. I've still got iron ingots coming out the, uh, the wazoo, yes. Actually, actually, no, I don't. Where have all my ingots gone? I've got iron ore. I guess I'll grab all that and start uh, whipping some stuff together. In fact, that'll be good. That'll be good that I do that. You know, it'll, it's all helping out the smithing skill. And don't worry, before before this episode wraps, I promise, we will be hitting the road. And uh, I think I'll be going out with Raya at my side. As I said, I'm pr pretty sure... Look at... Now, is he gone for good? No, there he is over there. Bouncing around all over the place. Damn... Oh, no. We've got a haze enveloping the surrounding pines. Bad business, that is. Bad business. We all know what that means, yes. All right, let's smelt it up here, Vin Maker. And we'll start doing, I guess I've got, uh, what do I have? I've got 35 of these damn iron ores. Start crafting some ingots. Oh, that haze is coming in thick. I can almost feel the master vampire creeping up behind me. All right, there's that. I might as well use up the, uh, the corundum ingots as well. In fact, I've got a nice uh, even number here. Well, working three at a time. I'll be able to deplete the supplies. And stash, uh, stash these away. Again, I just, I don't know. What's going on with this bloody charcoal? <laughs> you know? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Look at this mist. Well, no, this isn't even a mist. It's not even a full-on mist yet. It's, m it's merely a haze, yes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Anyway. In we go. And, uh... Yeah, I, I wanted to craft that safe. I'll tell you why. Because I wanted to put my riches away in there. I've even... Well, where's my, uh... Let's see here. See, look at this. Look at this. I like making use of my little containers here. My strong box. Oh, look at that. Some would-be thief... <laughs> In here breaking and entering would uh, find a wonderful payday should he open up this strong box. That uh, necklace of minor increased speed in there, along with five grand. Good lord. Another day. Another 5,000 septums. Yes. Yes. All right, let's get this. Uh, no, no, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. All I did was uh, make myself some ingots. Now I need to turn them into individual parts. Yes. All right. I'm trying to stay focused here. It's tough. I've got that the charcoal on the mind. Yeah. I guess what I need are building materials. And what did I need? I needed at least... I better do a few hinges. Um, I better do... Well, I did plenty of iron fittings, didn't I? I think it was probably nails and hinges. I'd better do... I think I've got a couple of locks. But uh, I better do one. Alright, that should be good. I'll tell you, there's a lot of clutter that came in here. It's like a little eating area, a little storage area. There's some tools strewn about. You know. 
All right. Now then, up here, it's just the... I think it's just that one wardrobe. And then it, what it comes down to... There we go. Done. And then it's just mounted heads. And I need the, uh, the appropriate pelts or antlers. And... Or teeth. Yes. <laughs> or teeth. So I would need... Uh, we could go out and do a little hunting here. Well, and that's actually tying in. I think I'm going to set off on foot. I'll set off with Raya, and I think I'm gonna head, try and head for Dragon Bridge, um, and uh, and uh, pick up a little work, or try and complete that one quest for Fort Dawnguard. And since I'm right over there, I might as well do the Stormcloak mission in the area as well. That'll give me reason to return to Dawnguard, and uh, and once I do that, I have a feeling we're gonna find Serana back there, and then her and I, well, we're gonna have words. Clearly, there's a little lovers' quarrel taking place right now. Yes, between the two. She felt a little jilted, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I can't mount anything. I can't do the safe. I'm baffled about this whole charcoal affair. <laughs> yes. I guess I should head down into the, uh, into the depths here. I'll tell you, I better not go down here and find myself a dragon. Well, no, that's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? I think I would find a, a goat, the most horrifying. Yes. <laughs> a goat down here would clearly... Put the sweet fear in me. We'll even put the Daedric Tonto to use. Let's go down. Yeah. Definitely we have ourselves a bit of a skeever issue here. Well, you know what you do with skeevers. You burn them out. Yes, you do. Or I do. Clearly, did he... Did he uh, contract something? I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised. Attacks you. Bone break fever. Something. Something. Now I've got these damn dead rats down here. What am I going to do with them? Oh, we've got yet another one over here. Clearly I'm going to have to fix up this joint. Otherwise the problem is simply not going to go away. Alright. Skeever's done. And you know what? Well, it, on the, uh, I've got to look on the plus side of things here. We will take the tails. And I don't need a big old axe to lop them off when I've got my Daedric Taunt. That's right. Okay, and uh, you know what? I'm curious. I will take a good look. I'm trying to preserve the lantern oil. So unfortunately, we're about to be just drenched in darkness down here. I could try and focus on getting some lights up at the very least. Let's have a look. Miscellaneous. Oh, look at this. The archery target and all this jazz. Oh my. We've got quite a bit happening down here. Here we go. Let's get these suckers down. What's this cost me? One gold horn and an iron fitting. And again, the same. Let's get them all up and let's light this joint up. And uh, again, the same. Only that's only giving me one. There we go. That's what I was really looking for. That was lacking outside. Was a tanning rack. So there we go. Leather strip and a sawn log. That's done. I could get a smelter down here as well. Ah. Get the archery target down. Cost me two straw though. That's fine. <laughs> the child's practice dummy. I don't know if I'm going to need that. Alright. I was expecting to convert this into some Argonian blood wine cellar. Yes. Yes, clearly. But I guess not. I guess the Vin Maker had other plans. As did the Skeevers, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Alright, why would I have a display case down here in the cellar? I mean, come on. Stuff on display for the Skeevers? Maybe I'd put the Skeevers on display. Alright, let's get some storage together here. Alright, I'm getting a little low on ingots. I better be careful here. I'm down to three iron ingots. And I think I would like at least one chest. Well, I don't need the iron ingots for the chest, so that's good. I'll get all three chests down. Since I have exactly enough locks, I don't have enough hinges, though, unfortunately. And a couple of end tables, we'll do them. Alright, I may leave the rest for now. We've got the makings of a, a furnished basement here. Oh, look at this! Some coarse eggs. That's not a good sign. What, what, is he, what is he doing with them? Leaving them out for the skeever? For the skeevers? What's happening here exactly? Can I put some sort of an extension on here? I must. It must come in with a wing. It must. What would that lead into? You know, I, that's the, I think that's the kitchen side of things. Could lead into a, some sort of a pantry. I don't know. That'll be interesting though. See it, uh, see it finished. Okay. All right. Things tucked away here nicely. That's actually a chest. Nice. 
All right. Again, continue to be. I'm just continue uh, continue to be uh, delighted by this uh, this Hearthfire DLC. Okay. I need to. It's time to focus up, and it's time to set off. You know. So I'm gonna put all my building supplies away. They still have yet to remodel the front uh, the front room as well. Okay. All right. What am I looking to drop here? Plenty. I would. I'm sure. Um, the glass can go. Look at that. Oh, we're really dwindling here with the lantern oil. Actually, I've got... Well, I've got about three left. That's not going to get me too far through a dungeon, though. Get rid of the straw. The hinge and the fittings, the lock and the nails. The corundum ingots. The iron as well. Goat horns galore goodbye. Yes. And the leather strips. I would like to get a uh, larger tent together. You know what I could try and do? I would like to get a second tent built, but, you know, I don't think I have enough skins with me currently. I've got them all stuffed away in here, though. <laughs> I've got the go... <laughs> oh, I've got some leather, too. Let me grab all of this for a second. Let's head downstairs. And uh, I may get a second tent crafted because, like I said, I am heading out with Raya, and I'm planning to go out on foot. We're gonna give uh, the whole volcano a break here, and we're gonna do some traveling on foot for a change because it's something I've really been missing. And I, I felt that way when I was running around Falkreath. I thought it was a grand time, and uh, I'd like to just head out and do some uh, do some exploration of the countryside um, at a little bit of a slower pace, right? Okay, um, that's not what I want. What am I doing on here? I don't know. I've lost it. And I don't know, we're getting long in the episode time here now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to set off, but I will certainly be out the front door at the very least for you good people. Yes. By the end of this. Oh, get back on the tanning rack. The van maker. Stop being difficult, sir. All right, let me have a good look here. All right, I need, uh, for the large leather, I need 22 leather. For the small leather... For the small leather, amazingly, I have enough. No, no. Oh, I could get an extra bed roll in there. No. I want another tent, completely. So, I would need 12 leather, and you know what? I think I can do that here. So, let's start breaking down these pelts. Yeah, you know what? I will be able to do that. Alright. I'm gonna... I've got barely enough. And in fact, you know what? That goat hide I picked up, I can't even break that sucker down! What a jep. I guess I may have to use it for my mounted goat head, although I still have my sight set on uh, Jarl Dengir of Stones, prize-winning goat. I plan to take his hide one night. Yes. <laughs> Pitch black of night. I will perforate the evil creature's mind with an arrow, and then skin him. Yes, while he's still clinging to life. All right. All right. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's do it. Now I've got my two bear rolls. This could be, you know, maybe I could have her carry one around because these are kind of heavy. Is that all I really want to do down here? You know what? I think so. Let's roll. And you know what? The beauty of it is, you, it may not look like it, but I already have Raya outfitted, ready to go. For some reason, she takes it off. You know, if I if she's not following me around. Um. And she just goes back to her normal gear. Maybe she doesn't like wearing the stuff I've given her. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, alright, let's pack this stuff away. What I have left of the leather. And the goat hide. And the strips. And I'd like to grab a couple more torches off the horse. How am I doing for weight? I'm looking pretty good. You know, I'm not running heavy with a bunch of... Uh, with a, with a ton of ingredients, although I do have a little bit here. And I think those skeever tails can certainly be put away before I go. Kind of just uh, carrying the essentials. Let me go and grab a, a torch or two since I am running a little low on the uh, the lantern oil currently. Because I am leaving the horse back here. Yeah. Horse is going to watch the homestead here. Yeah. This dragon. Still freaking out here, whipping its tail all over the place. Never again will I slay a dragon right out front of the house, if I can avoid it. Alright, let's check the horse, and I'm gonna need... Well, I'm gonna want at least two torches. Um... Oh, should I grab the firewood? You know what, I'll grab the firewood. And I'll give it to, I'll give it to Raya to carry around. 
Um, and I'll grab some uh, some bear meat, I guess. Some green teas. All right, Horace, you watch over this uh, Lakeview Manor. Yes, you keep it safe from the haze that envelops the surrounding pines and the vampires that come along with it. All right, we're nearly ready to go here, people. Nearly ready to go. I just need to wake Raya's ass up. Come on now. No sleeping on the job, my dear. We've got many things to do. Honored to see you again, my thing. Good, wonderful, wonderful. I need you to follow me. We have uh, important tasks need completing for both the vampire hunters of Fort Dongard and the Stormcloak Rebellion. Lead on, Thane. Good, good. My blade is always yours to command. Fantastic. And uh, let's yes, my thing. trade a few things here. Do you need something? The wonderful thing is, is that if I go in here... Of course, Thane. How can I be of service? And let's see, I'll give her... Well, I do have that wood I want to give her. What? What did I say? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're giving her the wood to carry, <laughs> to carry people. Mine's out the gutter, please. I sold off all my lockpicks, too. Alright, so that's been done. Gave her the wood. Good. Check. She has received the wood, and she enjoys it. Yes. And let's see what else. Should I carry around both tents? This seems kind of foolhardy, but screw it. That way, when I set up camp, I don't have to go and talk to her first. Although, I'll have to talk to her for the wood anyway. Yes. So, we'll give her one of these suckers right here. And now, we'll go back over to her list. And if I just take away the gauntlets, she puts everything else on. So, there we go. She has a full set of Orcish. Donned. She's also got that Kavach Guard Cloak, which is, which looks really great, you know. It's it looks a little rough there in the in the picture, you know, but it's uh, it's it's you know it's not all tattered or anything. Uh, I gave her the Ring of Health as well, and I gave her my old glass longbow, even though I probably would have been better to, to have sold it. But anyway, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, you're right. Episode winding down, and uh, she looks much better now. There we go. That's how you that's how you should have arrived on the scene, my dear. But no matter. Let's go kill something. Yes. Adventures await. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a little work done here. I would have liked to have been on the road and uh and uh cruising the countryside by now. I guess I should have a quick bite to eat before we do set off. Since he's looking a little hungry. I should probably give her some of these bear roasts. To lug around as well, so they don't they don't all spoil on me. But uh, that's fine for the time being. I'll have myself a little green tea to boot. She's right behind me, and I'll tell you, we're good. We're good looking pair now. We are a good looking pair. And I'll tell you, I'm happy to be rid of uh, to be done with the uh, the mask of Clavicus vile. Yes, <laughs> you know, it was fun to be wearing for a little while. I may go back to it at some point, but uh, no, I much prefer my my padded fur hood. And a circlet of archery combo. I think it just suits the man better. It goes with the outfit better as well. Alright, now from here. And uh, hopefully this dragon. Ho Hovakin, do something with that dragon. That dragon carcass. Please. Please. Before we get back, I want it gone, sir. Yes. Otherwise, I'm putting you out to pasture. Go and get my old horse. Alright, well. Again. We're running long, and uh, I can't really get into anything, but let's have a look. Let's have a look at the map here. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna set off, and we're gonna travel the roads in the wilds. Cutting through the reach. What is that there? Karth Spire. I think that's what I need to get to for the main quest line. Um, but yeah, our sights are currently set on the Stormcloak camp there, and the town of Dragonbridge. Probably stopping at Dragonbridge first. With a, uh, a small stop in Rorikstead, although there's not really much going on in that town, if I remember correctly, you know. I don't know, though. I haven't really spent much time there. I've ridden through it a few times. There didn't seem to be much reason to stop there. Okay, all Appreciate you all stopping by here. Hope you had a good time while you were here. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. But, of course, until then, remember why it hurts. We don't need Serana, do we? That filthy, that filthy vampire mistress. We don't need her at all, do we, Raya? Do we? No, she says. <laughs> Alright, later, later all. <clears throat>